Hey guys, it's Phil, and welcome back for another Nintendo Switch update. Nintendo just dropped a massive firmware update that has a lot of new features. In this video, we'll go over each item and talk about how this update will make your life much easier, and we're going to get started right now. There's a new smartphone app for all of you Animal Crossing fans, so stay tuned for the video right after this one. The Nintendo Switch firmware has today made a big leap from version 9.2 to 10.0. This new update comes with a number of new features. Unlike many of the previous Nintendo Switch updates, version 10 actually makes some very big changes. Let's step through them. Users can bookmark a maximum of 300 new items and can view them without an internet connection. So, that's awesome if you find something that catches your eye and you're getting ready for a big road trip. You simply bookmark the item and off you go. As a quick side note, the news items that are no longer available cannot be viewed even if they were bookmarked, so just keep that in mind. However, bookmarks are not the biggest enhancement with this update by no means. How many of you out there have an SD card with various games and other data stored on it? They have made such an awesome change with this new functionality. You can now transfer software, update data, and downloadable content between the Switch memory to the SD card, and vice versa. Making it easier for us to do this is really a major step in the right direction. As a Switch user, I just want the freedom to control all of my stuff, and this really helps. Another side note here is that some save data and update data can't be transferred between the Switch and the SD card, so just keep that in mind. Leave me a comment below and give me some feedback on how big of a game changer this is for you. I love this feature and I know it's going to be a big one for you guys too. Another major bombshell announcement is the fact that you can now create custom configurations for each pair of controller. How many of us have played Nintendo games and you absolutely hated the button config or just wish you could swap one button for another? The ability to do this simply goes back to having more control of my stuff. Nintendo is making great leaps forward with just little mods like this. I know that you guys will take advantage of this and will love it too. With this feature update, I'm thinking along the lines as well of accessibility users. Perhaps they have a hurt finger or something's going on and changing the buttons around would really help them out. So way to go Nintendo. Looking at the patch notes, configurations can be customized for the following controllers. The Joy-Con L, Joy-Con R, and the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Button configurations can also be customized on the Nintendo Switch Lite systems. However, this feature is not available for other controllers. A total of five custom configs can be saved for each controller. So that's five for the Joy-Con L, five for the Joy-Con R, and five for the Nintendo Pro Controller. As another little bonus feature from Nintendo to all of you Animal Crossing fans, you get six new icons for your game user. That's cool. Let's check them out. And lastly, but definitely not least, is the fact that they have also deployed many system stability updates. So, that likely means less random crashes and less random freezing. If you've enjoyed this content and want to stay up to date on Nintendo Switch related things, then be sure to subscribe to my channel.